my youtube channel today i am going to be sharing with you guys how i create my sun-kissed natural daytime look um, it's not a no makeup look so i will be applying foundation but i do want to keep it as natural as possible um, so i'm just going to share with you guys the products i use how i like to use them my little tips and tricks on getting that glow um, so yeah i am going to get right on it and get started the transformation from no makeup to make as you can tell I have no makeup on right now um, but just to make sure that it's fully cleansed I'm going to use the sanctuary foaming micellar water it's a cleansing water and um, it smells amazing and I don't know what it is but I feel like every time I use this it makes my skin so soft and healthy I feel like it gives it a bit of a glow it doesn't say that but anyway so I do about three four pumps and then I literally just tap it like this and wipe it all off yeah just make sure everything's off and next I just put the elf um, holy hydrating face cream on um, before I start my makeup um, well actually every day makeup or no makeup and it does really hydrate it I'm like trying to speak to you <laughs> like so yeah, it's really nourishing. Now I'm just gonna go in with the Brightening Youth Glow, um, anti-aging, color correction, glow booster. <laughs> this is actually really amazing though. Um, so you put it all over your face and it just highlights when the sun hits your face, you know? I actually love this. I wear this on its own as well during the day if my skin is actually good for once and yeah it just gives you that glow it's really amazing you can see how glowy that just that on its own makes your skin so for some coverage i'm going to use the light wonder um also has spf 15 in it um and it's quite low but it's better to wear spf um like a little bit then nothing at all so i've just put this onto a brush and i am um i'm brushing it out towards um away from the nose sorry god and obviously it is going to create streaks but that's why i have the beauty blender never used to use by the way um it's only since lockdown i've started using one i don't know why i did not follow that trend but i was just like what i've got is good so yeah now i'm just evening out the foundation but you know what like i do recommend getting a beauty blender now that i have one i can see the difference and yeah it just blends obviously <laughs> way better Ow. okay now i've finished blending i'm gonna go in with concealer this is from elf um i've really been trying to find that concealer with a, that fat brush and i feel like this is so good so this is where i like to place my concealer um and then i like to use the blue the beauty blender again to blend it out So I've blended it in to all them areas. I'm just coming close so you can see. Okay, and then to give it that extra glowy, bronzy kind of I've got a tan look, I use the Bali Body BB Cream, also SPF 15. Once I've placed it everywhere that I need, um, then I just blend this in as well. And guys, this gives you the the most like natural bronzy glow. Like, look at that color, the pigmentation. Like, I just love it. It does give a good coverage as well, and it just gives you the most 
yeah this is like a must for my makeup bag and then whatever's left on this i literally just put it on my eyelids so next i'm just going to give it a bit more of a bronzy look i'm not going to put much on and i'm using the epic effin cosmetics um, so I'm just going to use these two and normally blend them both like this. And you don't want to put too much on because I feel like that's when you get this like massive line on the side of your cheek and you can just tell that you've got makeup on. So yeah, as little as possible and then I always touch up on the nose and I don't really go for that like contouring look. Like I've put concealer underneath my eyes to brighten up the, the bags that I had but really i'm just trying to give her a overall sun-kissed look because this is like the part of the face that you would catch a tan on so i'm doing that and then with a bit of a, the pink blusher i like to put it on my nose that gives you that that burny nose effect and then just on the cheeks for now, moving on to the eyebrows, I used the 24 hour brow setter. This is nearly empty. You've probably spotted the scar. Um, <laughs> my nan thought it was ketchup while I was eating some chips and like sausage or something, but it was actually chicken pock and she just wiped it off with a tea towel and then it just poured out of blood and now I'm left with the scar. So yeah, I do have to fill it in. Um, it is kind of annoying and I used to, I used to really hate it, so be like, oh, it's just, if that was in there, like, my eyebrows would be symmetrical and this and that, but like, now I've just grown to actually really love it, like, it's just a part of me and it's always going to be there, so there's not much I can do about that. So moving on to actually filling the scar, I use the Benefit Brow Pencil, um, that is the top of it because there's two different shapes and this is just like the pencil kind of look one and then I gently just fill it in like this like I don't do anything major because I want to keep it natural but I just really struggle sometimes to not overdo it but yeah I'm just gonna do this link it with the other side and show you guys the results and yeah eyebrows done next I am going to go in with eyelash curler um always i always curl my eyelashes before my, putting mascara on it's just it's a game changer as you all probably already know okay i'm gonna look in this one because i don't want to put myself in the eye it's made such a difference before putting mascara on um this mascara is actually benefit as well i've had this since december and it's now june and um, it's dry as hell, but it has some left on and this is when my mascaras are the best for me. I hate brand new mascara. When I'm putting my mascara on, I like to make sure that I'm not putting too much on because obviously we are going for the day look and it, there's no need for a lot. Um, but then I lift it up like this and then I just like to tap on the top and it just gives them that tiny bit more of length. Um, and to finish off, I'm back to this palette, I'm just going to use the banana powder just to take a bit of that wet look away. Not too much because I want it to be like dewy and glowy, but this area here where your lines start to create. Okay, that is it for the makeup products. I am done. Um, I've already got like the light hitting in all the right places so i'm not going to add on highlighter for the day look instead i like to use the elf dewy setting mist it smells of coconuts it's so nice so i just like to spray this on and yeah then you're left with the dewy look So this is the final look guys, the end result of my everyday makeup, no makeup look. Everything I've used in today's video by the way is in the description below so go check that out. And yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification, I will be posting every Sunday. 
Also guys, if you have any questions about today's video, then leave me a comment below. If you enjoyed today's video, then give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next week. If you, if you, if you.